Hello everyone, my name is Ashwin and you're watching Starstruck. I'm uh, pretty excited and very really happy because I've bought a new telescope. Yep, again, I've been using, uh, I've been using this uh, uh, SP Boni, SP48 90mm refractor telescope which was fully multi-coated but unfortunately the, the output of the product, uh, the quality of the image is what I've, what I've been getting from that telescope was not that good so I finally decided to buy a new one and that's what I did so I went for a William Optics uh, 71 GT a Gran Turismo it's a triplet design with FPL 53 glass which is really a great glass to do the astrophotography so I've got the box I've got the package delivered yesterday around 5 o'clock so we're gonna go ahead dig into it and see what we have Okay, so this is the box. It says William Optics. Good, it comes with a sticker. It says Fragile. The side up. Please handle with care. And I bought this from Pro Astros. So they are one of the. Great, so this one comes. And a padded rigging box from William Optics. Alright, so that's the product warranty card. Uh, and these are the three things which I bought additionally. So that's a William Optics uh, T mount adapter, that's a CNC aluminium design. Uh, one and a half inch star diagonal, you can see over here, and the best part is this is the one uh, that's the, the flattener. Flattener is very much required so that you have uh, sharp and tight stars uh, on, the, on the corners, on the edges of the frame. That's, that's the, the flattener, heavy. I can tell you that the quality of the product it's premium it's really premium I can feel that All right that's the handle uh, keep this over here yep that's the strap for the for the green bag if you want to carry it on your shoulder the star diagonal additional you don't need that uh, but uh, purchase it Yep, that's the uh, that's the adapter for the DSLR. Okay. Right, and the star of the show. Trying to open this. So the scope is around five pounds as per the specification. Is FPL 53 and that's a triplet design apochromatic 71 mm f 5.9 triplet and the best part it comes with a patented bathroom mask let me show you the bathroom mask Metal lid. Pretty good. and this is the bathroom mask 
this helps you to do the uh, the focusing uh, to get crisp and sharp images of all the stars so they look round and not fuzzy I like to give this telescope a 10 out of 10 <laughs> alright this comes with a cap uh, this cap is a 2 inch breaker focuser which is 10 by 1 uh, this is the finest control if you if you see uh, there should be scales on this one yep there is a scale over here if you see this so the tube length fully retracted is 325 mm and the tube length fully extended with the with this thing uh, with the uh, the draw tube it should be 427 mm uh, 4.9 pound of telescope so and the best part is that the, the center of gravity the weight is over here so and and it's a big dovetail which can be used on HEQ 5 Pro very easily and we'll be able to balance it out very nicely so that's great so that comes with the the dust cap okay that's good so let's put it together and see how does this looks like on my mount Thanks. okay so we are going to move we're going to move the o-ring uh, the tube ring forward over here somewhere uh, so that we can attach the handle so might be over here so this ring has to be over here for switch we will attach the field flattener and the focal reducer over here so we'll have to remove this and then we will use the t-mount to attach the DSLR onto the scope alright so what we'll do first is we will take the scope out of the ring so just need to do this and flip it over this is I'll be using this uh, this Allen key I don't know the the size of it but if you have a kit I think you should be able to find uh, it in your kit already really good okay now we'll have to remove the the focuser not the actual focuser but the so we can put the field flattener over there one thing I want to show you was the the baffles it's so amazing that the scope it's a three element glass triplet design and it comes with baffles inside the scope. This reduces the stray lights to come to the sensor, which is really helpful. Well, the scope is really wide field, it's really wide field. So it's 420 mm focal length. Uh, with a focal ratio of uh, four, uh, sorry, 5.9 but with using the 0 0.8 times focal reducer in the field flattener what this will do is that will bring down that 5.9 to 4.7 which is really amazing okay so 
attach this Now this will go over here. Once again, I'll have to All right by using the spring, I just saw uh, straighten up the camera which gets aligned with the the focuser focusing knobs now what do we do with this this thing which is not usable now so we'll just cover up the thing with this, this cap put it in a, a nice bag and keep it away so that you don't lose it you might need that in future The best part of this scope, tension screw, which will lock in your focus once you have reached the focus using the bathroom mask. You can tighten up the screw so that the draw tube doesn't move at all and you're always in focus. Alright, so we've uh, finally mounted our scope and this is how it looks like. You see the square box in the middle, that's the sensor of the camera of 600D. That's my guide scope and a guiding camera T7C behind it on mounted on my HEQ5 Pro go to mount. Well, that's all I have for you on this video. Uh, if you haven't subscribed yet, please uh, subscribe to my channel. And until then, clear skies everyone. Mm-hmm.